A HOME IS REDUCED TO RUBBLE AFTER A STRONG EXPLOSION IN LOCKERN. AND TONIGHT, THE NEIGHBORHOOD IS STILL FEELING THE EFFECTS. IT IS THE SECOND DAY IN A ROW. A BLAST LIKE THIS OCCURRED IN BALTIMORE COUNTY AS CREWS CONTINUE TO INVESTIGATE THE CAUSE. GEORGE SOLIS HAS REACTION FROM THE STUNNED COMMUNITY AND SPEAKS WITH SEVERAL PEOPLE WHO STILL CANNOT RETURN TO THEIR HOMES TONIGHT. But first, Avajoy Burnett has the latest in the investigation and a look at the widespread destruction. Avajoy? Mary, there used to be three homes at this particular area on Remoor Road. If you look right here in the middle, it's just rubble. That right there used to be a home, and officials tell me at least nine other homes were damaged. An aerial view shows what's left after a single family rancher exploded in Lockern. The blast sent debris flying high and wide. Insulation from the house scattered blocks away from the epicenter. At least nine other homes in a two block radius had some form of damage. We have uh, structures on both sides of the primary structure. We also have structures to the rear and across the street from that's, that suffered damage anywhere from nail pops inside on the drywall to severe structural damage on the outside of the walls. No, you get locked out. Tim Reynolds, one of the first people to show up after the explosion, shot this video. When I went over there, the house was demolished. The whole roof was blown off. I didn't know what it was. You know, it sounded like a bomb. One man told WJZ the home at the center of the explosion was up for sale and no one lived there. The battalion chief said it was a miracle no one was hurt. That is phenomenal. Um, it seems like it happened early enough in the day that people were still coming home from work or were not home yet from work. And that would have been a different story to have been in a few hours later. In the aftermath, BGE crews went door to door to check for any gas leaks and residents were told to shelter in place. And at this moment, at least 10 people are not allowed to go back home. Absolutely not. No, especially the ones near nearest the blast, they're not. They're going to be this place for a while yet. Remore Road is still blocked off right now. The debris that you see here also scattered to other parts of the neighborhood, including on someone's BMW. Officials are trying to figure out what happened here. Live tonight, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.